Hey guys, Travis here. And the Freak Joe. So uh, we're at our third cemetery on our little cemetery tour. This one is the Lithuanian Liberty Cemetery. Liberty Cemetery. And we're here for a particular uh, uh, mausoleum. Yep. Uh, this one was actually pretty weird if you saw from the intro here. Literally right off a road. You can't get in here. It's kind of wired off and everything. So yep. we're going to go check it out. Smaller cemetery. So. I guess we should check quick. It. Yeah, right. So. so we'll check it out. Yeah. Cool. I believe there's supposed to be uh, some kind of hatchet man here. Last yeah. time it was a uh, hatchet lady. Yeah. Oh, there's the mausoleum. Not a, not a whole lot to this one. Yeah. Real old gravestone. Very worn away. It's always sad to see these kind of falling over. Yeah. 1926. 1926. That's in good shape for now. Yeah. Other than being knocked over. Wisniewski. Very, very small. Uh, the probably poison ivy and poison ivy. <laughs> <laughs> Wisaski? Wisaski? Yeah, I don't know if it's... 1880s? Yep. That's the mausoleum. 1920. Oh, it goes back a ways, huh? Oh, there we go. Oh, you want to save the mausoleum for last? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, we'll come back. That way, if there's anything in there, they can sneak out and scare us. <laughs> <laughs> Some of these are fairly new, actually. Much bigger than I thought it was. 1956. Now, do you remember what the uh, story was on the Hatchet Man? I don't. It's weird the idea that you have to incorporate. <laughs> Lithuanian Liberty Cemetery Incorporated in 1914. Uh, Massacre Mausoleum. Uh, Massacre stands in a small graveyard called the Lithuanian Liberty Cemetery, and it's the stuff of legends. Locals tell of a hatchet man, a scary ghost who guards the cemetery, and the mausoleum door is said to remain warm and has been sealed closed since the 1960s when vandals stole a skull from it. There we go. Yep. And Rosemary Ellen Diary of the Vampire. She tells about a pale, thin apparition, apparition seen here. Uh, according to this book, after hearing about the site, the reporter for Holy Water Consequently, you heard an eerie groaning sound coming from the crypt. The area is reported to be closely patrolled by police. <laughs> I can imagine. Oh, they can't miss us. That is here. There's a bull game. Coal miner. Died in the 1920s. Well, the flower looks really new. It's interesting that there's no uh, solid date. They're just like, ah, what the heck is it? 1920s? Perfect. I think it's coming out of someone's backyard. Yeah, it looks like a neighborhood. Huh. So a smaller cemetery for sure. Yep. So legend has it the uh, mausoleum door is warm. Yep. We were doing this in the fall, it's about mid 50s out. Yep. So. And it's in the shade, I think. Although maybe it's more in the sun than other parts of the cemetery. 
already ready to justify it. It almost looks like that was like a doorway that was standing up. Right? But there's three of them. So you wonder if it's like the boundary of the grave. It's sad. I wonder how many of these people have died the second death of having been forgotten. Oh yeah. You know, there's nobody left to pick their gravestones back up. You know, I was thinking that if that's something we could do, but I don't want to get in trouble for something like that. Right? Joe, touch the door. Yeah, no, I'm gonna touch it here in the shade. No, it's cold. It's cold? Yeah. Um, it's even cold in the uh, in the sun. Oh, debunk that stuff, guys. Yep. Bummer. I was real hopeful, I'm not gonna lie to you. Really, really wanted something creepy to happen. Oh, God, right, let me scoot over, let me scoot over. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get a selfie yeah. set. Alright guys, well. Small, small cemetery, small little tour, so. Yeah, cool place, cool, cool little cemetery. Yeah, so make sure you check out uh, the next one we have going on, and uh, catch you next time.